In the summer of 2022, Shell and I did the unthinkable and left our home to travel the world full time. This adventure started off by accepting an invitation to film the six day Machame route to the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro. Filled with apprehension, we said our goodbyes and boarded our one way flight to Tanzania, Africa. Little did we know, we were embarking on one of the most transformative experiences we will ever endure. From the entrance gate to the summit, this is our story. How do you feel? <laughs> a little bit cold. We have just arrived at Machame Gate. There's a lot of routes up Kilimanjaro. The one we are doing is the Machame route, which is six days up to the peak of Kilimanjaro. And we have just arrived at the gate. We rolled in on this nice bus back here. All of our gear was up on top, covered in tarps because it's legit a rainforest. It is, and it's just total mist. It's not raining, it's just, it's just a mist, mist it's everywhere. So it's so cool. cool. Everything is green. It is beautiful. It's We're so amped beautiful. to get started. Yeah guys, we're excited to get this going because honestly the anticipation leading up to this has caused me to maybe almost back out like, I don't know, 700 times. Maybe lose a few hours of sleep. Yes, just Especially like last up night. late, mind racing, like what are we doing, what have we gotten ourselves into? Oh but I feel gosh. like we are as prepared as one could be. Thank you Climb Killy for setting us up with all of the gear and everything that we might need. This is going to be an adventure. That's a good word that for it. That is, to say the least, this is going to be be an uh, adventure. We've got all our gear back there. We're kind of gonna, I think, weigh everything, make sure everything's at the correct weight, and start heading up the mountain with a little lunch first. Yeah, I think I we gotta correct. go sit over here first, and then we're gonna have a little lunch, and then start heading up. But today, guys, we're hiking up through the rainforest to our first camp. It's supposed to be an epic hike, a lot of elevation, kind of a big one, but luckily we're fresh. We'll get started. Let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> We're here at the Machame Gate. They're serving us up some pretty snazzy lunch here before we get hiking. <laughs> we have to wait for 30 minutes for our food to digest though, so. <laughs> so my mom taught me. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna get started. We've got the whole team behind us. Yeah, that's our whole team. <laughs> We need a lot of help getting up this mountain, guys. We're gonna need a little bit of help. And they're supplying it for us. And this is who we're hiking with today. We're the ones that need the help. So, <laughs> Gates just up here. <laughs> the trail heads just up this way, so we're gonna get heading and start climbing Killy, I guess. Here we go, that's what they call it. You ready, Shayla? As I'll ever be. Just past the gate. If only I had months of training. <laughs> I've been on two hikes. <laughs> Mom's a good attitude. Oh yeah, <laughs> got a lifetime of that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, I wanna give you a little more info about Mount Kilimanjaro. It's actually the tallest mountain on the continent of Africa. And what's so cool about it is it's actually a volcano. So it's not a range of mountains, it's just one mountain standing incredibly tall without anything around it. And over the next six days, we're gonna be ascending from the gate back there, which is about 5,500 feet, up to the peak, which is about 19,300 feet. And to put that in perspective, back in Utah, we live at 4,500 feet. So the gate was just a little bit higher than that. And then the peak 
is way above the rest of it. Now because it's so high, there's actually very little oxygen way up at those altitudes. So your body has to acclimatize as you hike higher and higher. And you do that just by going slow. So they have a saying on the mountain, they say pole pole, it means slowly, slowly. So you can tell I'm not moving too fast. Maybe I'm still out of breath for not even walking very fast, but you just have to go slow and your body automatically will acclimatize to the altitude, create more red blood cells and be able to better utilize what little oxygen there is up at the top. So each day we're going to be hiking a little bit higher, going to a new camp each night where we will sleep in a tent, in a sleeping bag, and then start it all again the next morning. So definitely stick with us. We're bringing you on all six days and it's going to be incredible. All right, you guys, we are two hours into our hike for today. We have gone 3.18 miles and we've gained 1,371 feet in elevation so far, according to my trusty Apple Watch. Although I will say there's other people in our group wearing Apple Watches and theirs are saying different stats. So who knows <laughs> what the truth is. You can't is. trust the Apple Watch. You can't trust the Apple Watch. I'm sucking on a really yummy African caramel that a nice man gave me. It's going great so far. I mean, I'm feeling good, but it's two hours in on day one, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Here's where you're sleeping the night, babe. Was this camp? Did we make it? <laughs> Is this our tent? I feel like an animal's gonna come eat me <laughs> out of that cave. <laughs> All right, where are we at, Shell? Six miles, according to my Apple Watch. Although I will say, it keeps asking me if I'm done working out. And it's upsetting And I get you. highly offended <laughs> because I'm breathing heavy. I am not done. It's very obnoxious. Guys, I was just thinking about it, and I think today has been a little deceptively easy, I would say, because it's been a very gradual incline. We're not at very high altitude. Even though we have gone six miles, I think we're almost to the camp. It's just been beautiful, cool. Yeah, the weather's perfect. Beautiful scenery. We don't want to get cocky because I think every day after today it's going to be a little harder. bit harder and harder. <laughs> what does it mean if I'm already tired today too? It means you aren't making it. Ah, don't put that out there. I'm just kidding. Shell's going to make it. If any of us make it, it's going to be her. Oh, well, we can hear fresh water. There's a little waterfall over there. Oh, how cool. We need to replenish. Shell just dusted her water. Three liters down. I've also had a lot of pee break. She's got a one liter bottle and a two liter camelback and she's done. I got three liters. Definitely not done with it yet, but you're supposed to be drinking as much as possible. Stay hydrated, all of the above. Shell's killing it. <laughs> dinner just up ahead. <laughs> Camp one, baby. You go check it out for us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We're starting to hike up into the clouds. It's actually really, really cool. It's very misty. You can see on the trail. We're just up in the clouds. We're starting to get high. We've done about 3,000 feet and we're about a quarter mile away from the camp, which is where we will have dinner, which I am very excited very about. Excited for. We've heard Clam Killy provides the finest cuisine on the mountain. <laughs> I'm a little trail mixed and sour patch strawberry out. Protein bard. I'm going for some. What do you got? Honey, cinnamon, peanut butter now. Oh, I haven't tried those yet. Hopefully it'll mm. be good. Oh, I can feel sweat dripping down my back. Yeah, it's definitely getting colder too, but still rocking the t-shirt for now because I don't want to get my coat out and I'm still a little bit sweaty. We're definitely doing a lot of elevation right now. The incline has picked up quite a bit. Doing good. About Feeling to camp. good. This is really good. I taste that cinnamon in there. I can smell it. On my breath. Are we? Are we? Nine. 
come, guys. I'm feeling pumped. Let's keep going. Day one done. We just made it to camp. Feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Don't want to get cocky because I'm probably not going to feel very good the rest of the day. What was our totals there? Oh, let me see. Okay. Five hours, 37 minutes. Don't know if that was fast or not. 3,773 feet wow. elevation and 7.3 miles. I mean, I did do a lot of pee breaks off into the woods. Maybe that added to my mileage. We made it. I'm ready for dinner and to sleep. <laughs> and to get off my feet. <laughs> so guys, if your appetite is not okay because of altitude, make sure that you force yourself to eat enough. I can see some of you look tired, so please make sure you force yourself to eat enough. Okay? okay? <laughs> now it's dinner time. Enjoy your dinner. Okay, Thank you. Man. Dinner on night one, we had a wonderful vegetable soup with bread and butter. Then we've got some spaghetti, potatoes, yummy little beef stew sauce action, some salad, lots of hot cocoa. I feel like I'm eating like a king. I never eat this good at home. We're just finishing up a delicious dinner. That was shockingly delicious. I can't even imagine the amount of preparation that goes into planning these meals, bringing all the stuff up there and making it and having it be that delicious. Like very, very awesome. That was so good but it's about 8 39 o'clock right now and it is pitch black out here without the lights everyone's got their headlamps but what's cool is there's no moon out so you can actually see tons of stars up there it's very very awesome anyways guys this is our tent right behind us barely can even see that but we're about to get in there lay down it sounds very nice right now today's been awesome it's really been epic probably have a little more challenging hike tomorrow ahead of us but feeling like there's nothing we can't handle right now <laughs> Yo, 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 what's happening? Climb Killy day one in the books, y'all. Guys, we're in our tent. Was that good? We are in our tent, and um, as you can see, it's gonna be a cozy night. <laughs> Guys, we have a lot of bags here kind of lining the sides. Mm -hmm. So Shell and I are right in the center, which is a right where we want to be, here. right next to each other. Yeah, we're going to need um, body heat warmth <laughs> to keep us warm. It's actually not too bad right it now. Feels great I've got like right a now. thin little, what is this, thermal waffle long sleeve on, and our sleeping bags feel good. And we had a delicious dinner. I mean, I felt like it was great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. I feel like I could probably go for like some of the junk food we brought but i already brushed my teeth <laughs> and we know? don't want to get back out and i don't really want to eat it and then get back out and brush my teeth again although i already know i'm gonna have to get back out and go pee again obviously <laughs> i've been drinking so much they just keep telling you to drink 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 well let me tell you by the end of today everyone was cracking jokes about how often i went pee i was going pee on the trail because i drank she drank a lot. over four I drank liters, four liters of which, water which is more than anyone else drank today so you're doing oh, by far more than winning, anyone Michelle. i feel like drank yeah i drank over four liters today and then i had two big cups of hot chocolate at dinner oh so that was good. so Just good warms the soul it really is so good i can't yeah. wait for that in the morning they tell you to drink a ton mm -hmm. and also to eat because i guess as you go higher and higher in altitude your appetite decreases oh yeah big time so they're like even if you're not hungry you have to be Just feeding force yourself, yourself to force eat. yourself to eat because i guess that that helps with like the climatizing and everything like that. So far I've had a big appetite. Let me yeah, tell you. so far I definitely haven't lost my appetite. We're feeling great. We're not that high compared to how high we're going. No, we're about 9,500 feet right now and tomorrow we're going to go up to about 12,500 feet. So we're going to go a lot higher tomorrow. I would say all things considered today has been great. You Way guys, better than expected. Yeah, I would think so. It was a beautiful hike. I don't know if we've really told you guys this or not. I'm sure that we have. Daniel and I are not hikers, nor are we really big campers. So this is kind of an adventure for us. And I would say today so far was great. If we can have days where I'm feeling this good, I'm gonna be happy. Man, half the help is just the crew here at Clem Killy. Like the meals they were making for us are so good. We showed up here and camp was all set up already. Yeah, everything was set up. Our tents were set up. All of our bags were here. Like it's quite luxurious for what it is. I would say. Definitely. It's really made this thing doable. I think if we can do it, you guys could do it. I mean, we'll see how we're feeling in like three, four days time. A few more thousand feet. We'll see how you do. Ugh.
Guys, we're gonna go ahead and hit the sack. We've got an early start tomorrow. We're gonna try and get started early because they say it's clear in the mornings. So we're gonna get started so we can enjoy that clear weather. So we're gonna say good night. Thank you for watching. Make sure you stay tuned because we have a lot of unknown adventures up ahead mm -hmm. here on Kilimanjaro. Lots more. Six more days. <laughs> that sounds so long. All right, babe. Good night, guys. We'll see good you night. next time. <laughs> Into the nose, out to the mouth. Now rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> now rock and roll. <laughs> Good morning from camp one, Machama camp. Time for breakfast. It's morning time. They're cooking us up some yummy breakfast over there. So in the meantime, we're gonna give you a little mini tour. And by mini, I mean, it'll be a full tour. It's not that big of a camp. <laughs> this was our tent where we slept. It was great. I don't know who slept back there, but someone did. And we've got our little potty tents here. They have like little portable toilets that are inside there that they carry. It honestly is great. They're like super clean. And someone said they clean them out after every day. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is like, I feel great about that. Super nice to be able to actually use like kind of a toilet. And then we've got, swing over this way, tons of tents. So there's like two people, some of them only have one person in them I think, in every tent. It's quite cozy in there. We definitely had a lot of body heat in ours, which felt pretty good. Uh, I wish we had one of those massive sleeping bags that we could like both get in. Yeah, that That'd would be, be pretty nice. cool. <laughs> Over here we've got another potty tent. You can tell because they're identical looking. Here's our little hand washing station. This is full of hot water and then we've got soap right here. I mean, this is legit camping, you know? It's not only just hand sanitizer everywhere, which I love. Hand sanitizer gets kind of gross on the hands. I don't know, am I the only one that thinks my hands get sticky after that. Not a big fan. Right here, we have the big dining tent where we eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, all the goods in there. And this green tent over here is the cook's tent where they cook all of our food. And it's great. And I'm cold, so I wanna go get some hot chocolate now. <laughs> Let's do it. up first. Today is day two. I'm happy to see the whole team are doing good and we are ready for the day. Here is our team, Climb Kill team. So we'll be singing like two or three songs to motivate and warm up before we set off. Are we? Are we? Climb Alright, if that doesn't get you pumped to hike, I don't think anything will. Rick's still going here. <laughs> that was amazing. That was like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, that was unreal. That was absolutely unreal. It's just awesome. It really gets you pumped for the hike that we have ahead today. You're pumped? I'm pumped. Let's do this! Fort, where's off? Alright, we've just gotten all packed up. They're breaking down the camp as we get started. They'll probably pass us on the trail, even though they'll get a much later start than us. They're just a lot faster because today we're actually going to take it much slower than yesterday. Yesterday. We're at a much higher altitude. We're still gonna gain about a thousand meters today, which is like over 3,000 feet. And so we're gonna take it a little bit slower because we're gonna start getting very high.
today. This morning was awesome though. The song and dance to pump you up before the hike was so epic. You just like feel all their happiness and their excitement about the mountain. So it makes you stoked to get hiking and you know, kill it on the mountain. It definitely helps. But we're hiking today. We're leaving Machama camp, heading up to Shira camp. And you can already tell the climate has already changed. The rainforest we left back there. Now we're in what they call the moorlands and the trees are very different. It's kind of crazy how quickly the climate changed. <laughs> All right, we've barely started, and this trail is a lot steeper than what we did yesterday. All right, guys, gotta hydrate up. This trail today is way steeper than yesterday. We're going a lot less miles today, but same elevation gain in a much shorter amount of time. So it's just like straight uphill the whole way. I've got two of the liquid IV packets in here and a Celsius pack, extra flavored water. <laughs> Sounds delicious. <sighs> Is it good? It is, it's actually really good. I did strawberry guava liquid IVs and then the guava kiwi lime Celsius pack. Oh, I gotta drink this fast cause it's got the caffeine. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna be drinking that late night. My watch asked me one more time. I ain't done working out. I'm huffing and I'm puffing. Cheers. <laughs> Woo! Climb! Climb! Guys, we had to shed a layer. Took off the jackets. Yeah. Even though we're getting higher and there's this rad mist blowing in, I think we're just in the clouds here, honestly. Yeah. It's warming up a bit. It is, the sun's coming out, so it's starting to get warm and I'm loving it. I want the sun to come out. We could definitely tell we're getting higher too because the trees are getting a lot shorter. Yeah, soon today, I guess, is where we'll be out of the tree line and then it's just no more trees. No more trees, that's no gonna be kind of sad. It's just gonna be I rocks know, and stuff. this is so pretty. Because this is a volcano we're hiking, guys. Kilimanjaro is a volcano and so it's gonna be a lot of rock and loose dirt and stuff once we leave all the vegetation. So we're enjoying it I'll while we can. <laughs> We've been loving the videos and photos and all this and it changes so much. It's like always so interesting. Oh yeah, it's so quick how much everything changes. And then all of a sudden the sun will come out and then you'll just see the mist like and clouds blow in. It's so cool. Yeah, I think we're supposed to be getting above the mist here in a little bit and get a oh, lot of sun. I feel good about that. Sun keeps trying to burn it off and come through but has not been able to yet. He hasn't been successful successful yet. Not all the way anyway. Yeah. Oh man, this section has just been steep all day. But they're telling us once we get up here to this little peak, I guess, it kind of levels out a little bit. Shelly just got up there. I made it! <laughs> Woo! Let's head back down! You're right. <laughs> but first, we have to scale the mountainside. <laughs> this is awesome. Really healthy lunch today. Goldfish. Got a full box of them. I'll probably go through the whole thing. Everyone went really quiet, so that's really awkward. <laughs> All right, guys, we're taking a quick break. They actually set up the table and the chairs. Got us some lunch coming. It's kind of tastes like French toast, but. Oh, babe, this is just snack time. It's snack time? Lunch is later. Oh, they really feed you well and they feed you a lot, and I love it. And we're back on the trail. Got a cool poncho here. Pretty sure it's just saran wrap. <laughs> Not really. Where do we get these? Amazon. Cheap on Amazon. <laughs> 
Well guys, we're getting a little bit of rain here. Honestly, I think we've lucked out big time. Usually the first couple of days, you get quite a bit of rain and then not so much after that. But I almost wouldn't even call this rain. It's more of like a mist, but it's definitely getting things wet. Shelly's poncho is covered in water droplets. And so is my jacket here, but it's pretty guys. We're going through the most beautiful terrain. The trees, the moss, everything is so epically pretty. I mean, look at this stuff. Definitely been a one of a kind opportunity climbing this mountain and seeing these things firsthand. But I think we're almost up to Shira camp, it's camp two. You know what that is, Shell? Blue sky. Oh, there it is, there it is. It's coming. We're getting our first view there of the is. peak back there. Very, very oh. high and very far away. Wow. But there it is. There's a little bit of snow up there. Not as much as I was anticipating, but. No, I'm kind of hoping that when we get there, there won't be as much. These... Hoping for blue skies and sunny. I need to get my sunnies out. I know. Sprinting. These clouds are moving in and out so fast, but we're getting a little bit of blue sky. Oh, see, it's already gone. And <laughs> I've been talking for like 15 seconds, but we definitely got our first view of the peak. I've been waiting to see that. Oh, I've been yeah. telling them I'm not even sure we're on the right mountain. <laughs> they assured me we were on Kilimanjaro. Are we, sure? are we sure we're going the right way? Now we know, but it is only day two, obviously. Obviously we're not gonna be that close on day two when it takes six days to get up there. Oh, That's pretty cool. Doesn't that just motivate the heck out of you? Oh man, <laughs> let me tell you. It's probably best if I don't see the peak because I see how much farther we have to <laughs> It is still a ways out there. I keep saying we're almost to camp, but it seems like we never make it to camp. <laughs> But I think we're almost to camp. They say 10 minutes. I'm gonna hold you to that. A lot of potty breaks here. A lot of potty breaks But here. that's what you get when you drink a ton of water. Four liters again, Shelly, congratulations. I feel like I need to pack more liters. There she is, the top of Kilimanjaro. just got down from what would be our first acclimatization hike. And it's actually kind of interesting, guys. I thought it was interesting, so I obviously think you guys will think it's interesting. When you're up here on the mountain, the higher you get, the less oxygen there is. And you need oxygen to do anything. Your body needs oxygen to like move muscles, do everything. And so the higher you go, the less oxygen you have, your body starts shutting down. It's obviously not good. So what acclimatization is, it's actually letting your body adapt to the altitude. So it'll automatically start Start creating more red blood cells and that's what takes the oxygen to everywhere in your body and so the slower you go the more time your body has to acclimate but what we'll do is we'll actually get into camp and then we'll hike a little higher chill out for a bit kind of let your body know you need to start making more red blood cells and then we come back down to camp to sleep at night where it's a little more comfortable for your body so hopefully our bodies are acclimating we're at 12,500 feet tonight tomorrow we'll be up at 15,000 feet but then sleeping lower and ultimately we'll be on top of that massive mountain back there at over 19,000 feet. Fingers crossed, Shell and I have never been this high before. We don't really know how our bodies are gonna react. I'm actually really curious to see how our bodies do, but so far so good, we're feeling great. We're camping. <laughs> We're camping again, two We're nights camping. in a row. It is an absolute windstorm <laughs> out there tonight. I, it's actually kind of calmed down right now. I feel like our tent's not freaking out as much. I have a water bottle of scalding hot water in my sleeping bag on my feet, and I am so paranoid <laughs> that it's going to come undone in the middle of the night. But my feet are so cold, and we're only at campsite two. We have three more campsites to go, and they get significantly colder the higher we get, and I'm already freaking cold. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, it's not terrible right now, but it's gonna get colder, I'm pretty sure. They recommended filling these Nalgene bottles with boiling water and throwing them in your bag. So Shell's trying it out tonight. Feels pretty good, but if I wake up with soaking wet socks, <laughs> I'm gonna be mad. I don't think that'll happen. I think you'll be fine. Okay, good. I mean, I kind of toss and turn a lot though. Like what if my feet get aggressive and unscrew the lid? That'd be impressive. Those are some strong toes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're calling it a night. It has been a big day. Today's hike was steep and long. So steep. All day today. Okay, I feel like I look like a little floating head. Today was a super steep hike. Not as far of a distance as yesterday, but just as much elevation as the first day, but in a shorter amount of time. It was like literally straight up these giant boulders and rocks like the whole day. It was so beautiful. Today's hike has been my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. I only have two, but today I liked better. But we're feeling great. They keep taking <laughs> our blood oxygen every night and morning. Ours has been great the whole time. So it's been two days. It's been great <laughs> for two days. We're getting ahead of ourselves here. I know, but we have to think positively, right? Herment told us it's all mental. And I trust Herment. Little physical. Little physical, but a lot mental. Guys, thank you for watching today. We hope you're enjoying these videos. We have more to come. Each day has been so different from the last. Yeah. And I love that about this mountain. You go through so many many different climate zones. So we're going into a new one tomorrow. Stay tuned to find out what it looks like and we'll see you then. Good night. <laughs>another beautiful day here in Africa climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. We're waking up at Shira Camp, which is our second camp. We're heading up to a lava tower, which I believe is at 15,000 feet. And we're going to have lunch up there because the hike today, you kind of go up and then you go back down to sleep. So we're going up to lava tower, gonna have some lunch, probably gonna take most of the afternoon to get up there. And then we'll hike back down to Barranco Camp where we will be camping tonight, which I don't think is a ton higher technically in altitude than where we are now, but I really don't know the numbers all that well. This man behind the camera probably knows them better than me. I just keep getting confused. There's so many to keep track of. <laughs> and it's probably best if I just don't think about them. If I think about the numbers, sometimes it can get in my head, you know? But we're all feeling great. They're taking our blood oxygen every single day. Daniel and I are scoring great. I think we're going to be good, you guys. We're going to take today nice and slow, just poly, as poly. we're supposed to. Pole pole. That's what they say slowly slowly I think it's gonna be a good day the Sun is shining the sky is just like crystal clear blue I think we're well above the clouds for the whole rest of the time so it's gonna be lots of Sun so we put sunscreen on but it's still freezing <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting all of our packs ready and we're heading off Day is day three. I'm happy to see the whole team are doing okay and we are ready for the day. Here is two or three Kilimanjaro songs to congratulate you guys for the great job that you have been doing and then we go. Okay? Climb! Pasha Pasha Pasha
back on the trail. It's a beautiful one. We're definitely getting less and less. Shell, I'm talking. <laughs> definitely less and less greenery and shrubbery about. We're full on in the sun today. Kind of crazy. Rick, what do we have to look forward to today? Beautiful weather so far. <laughs> yeah. A lot of rock, a lot of uphill, but gradual. I like that. Should be about a five hour walk to Lava Tower. And then a lot of downhill, which should feel nice. Oh, we're downhill after yeah. Lava Tower. That's right. Oh, and lunch at Lava Tower. Lunch at Perfect Lava views. Tower. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited for the great views. I feel like we're finally getting really great views just because it was so cloudy, yeah. misty rainy the first couple days but now up here it's very clear great view of Kilimanjaro up ahead get to get great views of the valley later today so it's gonna be epic We're going through this really cool boulder field right now just boulders everywhere with orange moss on them really really pretty climate zone changing yet again but it's kind of funny the Sun will come out and we'll stop and we'll shed layers because it gets really hot and then the clouds will roll in the Sun will go away and we'll stop we'll put all those layers back on <laughs> Just doing whatever it takes to stay comfortable. This is called the Alpine Zone. Very little vegetation, but there still is some. But eventually we're gonna get into the desert where there's gonna be no vegetation whatsoever. Oh, sun's coming back out. I'm gonna shed a layer. <laughs> To the yeah. rest spot. Kili! Welcome at the team spot. Pretty amazing guys, but the porters <laughs> blew by us on the trail in time to set up this whole little tea break. We got all the chairs here. We got a full spread of teas, hot chocolate, anything to keep you warm. But we're about, I don't know for how we're not, but we've been hiking for a couple hours. Gonna take a little break here, take a load off, and then keep moving on up that way. The mountain keeps getting bigger and bigger right now. It's behind the clouds, but we're getting closer and closer. All right guys, we're taking a little break here. Me and Rick found a little natural seat against the rock and it feels it was amazing just to lean back against yeah. something. We've got the mountain right in front of us. Right behind that mountain of a man. <laughs> and Shelly. Potty break. Gotta go. Gotta go when you gotta go. And I have been peeing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Kilimanjaro, right at her feet. We're about up to Lava Tower, which is right here. Yeah. And yeah, Lava Tower, guys, is at 15,000 feet. That'll be the highest any of us have been on this trail. And so far, everyone is doing absolutely great. Except yeah, for Rick here. Good. Rick's looking a little winded. I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> guys, Rick is a veteran. He's done this thing vet. numerous times. Our guide here, Hermant. <laughs> How many times have you climbed this? I've been counting to 170 summits on Mount Kilimanjaro. So we're in good hands. He's gonna get us all to the top. <laughs> Volcano. Lava Tower. Lava Tower. You guys, we are almost to Lava Tower. It's right in front of us. But he was saying we can't go to what I thought we were going on top of because it's like eroding or something and it's dangerous. They used to go up on top of this big tower. But we're coming up here, we're gonna have lunch, chill out for like an hour, hour and a half to acclimatize. I think it's 15,000 feet. So far, so good. I'm definitely out of breath when we talk. But other than that, I'm great. <laughs> There's been some key pieces of gear that I think have really made this trek so far as great as it has been. The first one that I have to attribute a lot of my personal success to are the boots. Guys, we picked up these Hoka boots back home. Shell and I got on the stair mill every day for the past month and a half and walked for at least 30 minutes or so in these boots and they have been the most comfortable thing on this trail. Like, I love them. They've been so awesome. The next coolest thing are these gaiters. I didn't know what these were. <laughs> 
I've never heard of these before. I actually didn't even know what they were, but when we got here, they asked us, do you have gaiters? And I was like, well, I have a neck gaiter. But they're like, no, 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 no. Gaiters for your boots. And I'm like, no. So they showed us what they were, and I was like, I don't think we need that. But holy crap, they keep everything clean. My boots are clean, my pants are clean, because your boots rub against them right here. If it's muddy or anything, they protect your boots and your pants. They don't let anything down inside your boots. Honestly, they've been great. I wear them every day. The other thing that I've loved this trip is this jacket. It's just a really, really lightweight, hard shell, waterproof Patagonia coat. And I've worn it every day. I don't wear it all day every day, but it's either on me or it's in my pack. Because if it starts raining at all, I just pull it out, throw it on. I am perfectly dry and it looks cool. <laughs> and then the last thing is a good day pack. This thing's got three liters of water in it, plus I carry another liter of water here. GoPro right there on the side. We actually have a lot of clothes in here. We have our waterproof clothes in here, and then a couple warm layers just in case, because you're kind of changing all day long. You're losing layers, putting on layers, just depending on what the sun and the clouds are doing and the rain. And then we got the snacks. So <laughs> definitely. No shortage of snacks. I'm so glad we went snack shopping. We replenish the snacks in our day pack every day and then our duffel of snacks gets transported to the next camp. It's really awesome. Snack time? Ice picking. From best friends. <laughs> this is Grace. Hi Grace. This is Michelle. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> We're heading down the mountain now to Camp Barranco where we'll sleep tonight and then tomorrow we take on the Barranco Wall. Ooh. Dun dun dun! Oh, we've been out of the clouds all day, but now that we're descending down into Camp 3 here, Barranco Camp, we're going down into these mists and it's cooling off considerably. But it's quite the downhill. We're just like skipping from rocks like mountain goats getting down this mountain. Cooling you off, babe? This feels so good. This is beautiful. You guys, we have lucked out big time with weather. We're only halfway through. We have two more days until our death day. <laughs> Summit day. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. All right, keep skipping. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Barranco is misty. Barranco is misty, man. Climb! Climb! We've just arrived down at Barranco Camp. This is Camp 3. We're staying here tonight. <laughs> And the mist is not letting up. Everything's starting to get wet. I don't have my waterproof shell on. The camera's getting wet too. So we're gonna go find our tents, hide our stuff, and have some dinner. Hi, Shell. Hi! <laughs> Shelter! Coming in. From the mist. <sighs> It's freaking cold tonight. Hold on, we got a foggy lens here. We'll be right back. We're back, everybody. Clear lens. Guys, the moment we walked into Barranco Camp, it has been just... Should we tell ghost stories? 1,000% humidity. We walked into this misty field like they couldn't find our camp. You could see like 10 feet in front of you. Yeah, and then Daniel actually got a really cool shot of all the tents like lined up. Oh, beautiful line. And they did a great job. so cool and misty looking. But that's by far like the wettest I feel like we've gotten on this whole excursion. No, it's an expedition, sweetheart. Expedition, excuse me. Excursion is a large oh, truck. I wish I was in a truck. <laughs> it's been the wettest I feel like we've gotten, which I feel like we have been so lucky with we such have. amazing weather. We we've been saying have. our prayers, you guys, for good weather, and I think it's working because we've had some incredible weather. So knock on wood, pray for us that we continue to have good weather. I know, and our guys are telling us we probably will. They don't anticipate any rain. They anticipate mild winds, clear skies, so. Yeah, he was saying that since we've had like not super bad winds, he's thinking maybe even like at the summit, it might not be too rowdy. That'd be incredible. Which, ooh, that would be incredible. 
Increíble. Then maybe I'll make it. Guys, we just had a little bit of dinner. Spaghetti, pizza. And guacamole. Can you believe that? Up on Mount Kilimanjaro. Don't they forget whipped the that guacamole. And a side of guacamole. <laughs> Fresh guac <laughs> with spaghetti and pizza. I did not film it. I apologize. I will be sure to film all the meals tomorrow so you guys can see exactly what we're eating up on the mountain. Clem Kelly is killing it as far as the cuisine goes for being up this high on this mountain. <laughs> yeah, they definitely go all out on the meals, which has been kind of awesome. Daniel and I are still eating a lot of our junk food, which has been so heaven sent for me. <laughs> Pringles, jerky. Yes, all oh, the jerky. I haven't even had the Starburst yet. Me neither. Let's take those tomorrow. And the tamales. And the Sour Patch. And the Sour Patch watermelons. And m and <laughs> You got the bigger pack, so. Oh, great. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and say goodnight. The sun sets here at about 6.30 year round, which is kind of crazy. We're kind of really close to the equator, but the wake up call comes at six. We get someone tapping on our tent. Hello, hello. That's what he says. Jumbo, hello, jumbo. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. Good morning. Good morning. Morning to you too. How are you? Good. This is Herman, and now it's wake up time. Okay. Yes. Would you like to take a cup of chocolate, tea, Mila? Um, no, thank you. One more water for washing? Uh, no thanks, Johnny. Hello, hello. It's wake up time. That's what he says every morning time. So we take about an hour to get ready, pack up our sleeping bags, pack up our duffels, pack up our day packs, get dressed with the appropriate clothing. Yeah, we take about an hour to do that, and then we go have breakfast for about an hour, and then we hit the trail. Tomorrow we have the Barranco Wall, which is supposedly the most fun thing on this hike. They've expedition. Said expedition. They said that a lot of their clients had come back and said that their favorite part was the Barranco Wall. And that's what we've got first thing in the morning. You like scramble up a wall. Of like, rock. Yeah, they told us we have to use our hands and our feet the whole time. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun, guys. Make sure you come back. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Get your butts over to Instagram and follow us there because we're going to have a lot of cool content coming for you. And we love you. Good night, everybody. Good night. What did it taste like, babe? Oh, it was delicious. Best kiss I've ever had. Oh, oh Just kidding. <laughs> Video log, day four, <laughs> Kilimanjaro. Here at Barranco Camp. Just had a wonderful hot breakfast. Very delicious. Did you catch that the steam coming off the porridge? Reveal. And we're ready to climb. Finish it off with some brownie brittle. Mm -hmm. You Good. Did? What yes. the heck? <laughs> Guys, behind us, it's all fogged in, is the Barranco Wall that we are going to be scaling today. It's a I few hundred meters it. of this crazy climb, and Where I am stoked scrambling? about it. As you guys know, before we start climbing, we gotta go dance and sing. They gotta pump warm us, us up, up, pump us up, get us ready for the day, get ready for the hike. Let's do this. <laughs> The song and dancing is honestly one of the best parts of the day, every day. And what they actually are saying, they're praying that we finish safely. They say from America to Africa to Kilimanjaro, and then they pray to God that we can finish safely. So it's really, really cool. I sing about three or four songs, and it's just fun. Anyways, guys, the wall is starting to show itself out here. We're going to make our way up around this ridge and then start climbing the Barranco Wall. Hopefully that sun breaks through and gives us some warmth because it's been a little chilly this morning. I think it's just going to get colder from here on out as we get higher. Oh, my God.
All right guys, we are on the Barranco wall, starting to scale this thing. There's tons of handholds as you make your way up the wall, as you can see here. Good job, Shelly. Thanks, babe. <laughs> This section right here is called the Kissing Rock because it's like a really narrow walkway and you got cliff down that way. So you have to stay super close to this rock, close enough that you can kiss it. I'm gonna bring the crew across right now. <laughs> what did it taste like, babe? Oh, it was delicious. Best kiss I've ever had. Oh, God. Just kidding. <laughs> Climb! Gilly! Away! and subscribe. <laughs> We have made it we, to the top of, of the Barranco Wall. Barranco we conquered that wall. thing. And it was pretty rad. It was awesome. 300 vertical meters of really Wait, cool, you, like scrambling. 869 and feet elevation gain. Yeah. According to Sir Apple. Sounds about right. We don't know if he's right, though. It's really cold and really misty. Yeah. We need well, to put our ponchos on. They set up a nice little tea here, but I think we're going to freeze our butts off. Yummy. Not cool. African hot chocolate. <laughs> but that was awesome. That was honestly one of the funnest parts of the hike so far. I just all that rock bouldering and really scrambling. cool totally different like hiking than we've done like so far it's pretty much just been like walking but that was like that we're was like bouldering climbing. we're having to like grab grips and like squeeze through rocks and hold on to rocks with like a cliff behind us like yeah it was dope it was pretty rad tons of fun yeah. i'm excited to take a break then keep going till we get to camp i really want this mist to clear up i want to see this view so I bad know. i think there's a really epic view behind us wish we could share it with you all hopefully on summit day <laughs> oh yeah hopefully summit day we'll have a beautiful view. One of the rad things we are noticing about Kilimanjaro is every day is very different, which keeps it really, really cool. Day one, we're going through the rainforest. Day two, we're going through the moorlands, which was like not rainforest, but still decent foliage, tall trees. Day three, we're going through the alpine zone. And now we're just in like straight desert. We're so high, nothing is growing up here. It's all rock, some moss around, but every day has been so different. Some days are steeper, some days are more gradual, and it really keeps things interesting. It's makes it fun to film each day because everything is so different and I want to capture each and everything for you guys. So, all right, I'm gonna go sit down, grab a cup of hot chocolate, probably throw some layers on. Ever since we left the top of the Barranco wall, we've had this mist. So everyone's got their ponchos on. We got Raymond here. Raymond, where's the sunshine? Sunshine is good. It's gone. <laughs> Maybe you'll come back tomorrow. Tomorrow or later. The weather is unpredictable. It's hard to tell you. You cannot predict on the mountain. We're making our way down into the Karanga Valley. And you can tell this is beautiful terrain. You can't see very far, obviously, you can tell. But there's a ton of these beautiful trees, beautiful plants. If it was clear, I'm sure this would be incredibly epic. But visibility is definitely low. But once we get down into the Karanga Valley, hike up a little ways to Karanga camp. So today's a little bit of a shorter day, which I don't think anyone's going to be complaining about. We've had quite a few long days. Yesterday especially was a very long day hiking all the way to 15,000 lava tower and coming down into Barranco camp. 
So having a shorter day today will actually be kind of nice. Maybe we'll get to bed a little bit earlier. Shell and I never really get to bed that early because we downloaded a ton of episodes of Modern Family onto my phone and we'll throw my phone up in the mesh at the top of the tent and just lay there and watch it. And I think it keeps us from going to bed. But you know what, it's really nice. We love it. Fog seems to just be getting thicker and thicker every step we take. Hey Shelly, how you doing? I'm doing good. Staying dry? Yeah, I got my poncho on. I love my poncho. Amazon special. Amazon special, feeling good and dry, kinda. Video log, day four, 1300 hours. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. Probably no lunchtime, but I'm There's guessing no maybe we're going slow. There's no time here. There is no time, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> All right, we're live with Rick. Um, what, what? Yo, man, shout out to my boy. <laughs> oh. Who, who's your boy? Forgot his name, but shout out to him, though. Okay. Sorry. Here we are, Karanga camp, about, well, too high. Vegetation, pretty much none. We are about to head to our tent for some lunch. It is pretty foggy. I'm not even sure if you can see me right now. Well guys, we got into Karanga camp a little bit early today. Like I said, we kind of had a shorter hike and it's still incredibly misty and incredibly foggy. So you'll notice there's no one outside right now because it's cold, it's a little bit wet. Everyone is in their tent. These are all our tents here with Klein Killy. Very nice mountain hardware tents. And they have been awesome. They're all three man tents and then they put two people per tent, which is great because we have so many bags that you can barely fit in there with all your stuff. And we have this new sick dome tent. Very excited about it. A lot more space in there than the other tent we've been eating in on this trip so far. So that's pretty cool. Oh look, we've got Shelly coming out. Oh my gosh, my knees hurt so bad. <laughs> A little stiff there. You look warm. I'd love if this mist would go away. I want blue skies. Maybe tomorrow. I want sunny blue skies. So tomorrow, guys, is our last, I guess, day hike Day hike here on Kilimanjaro. Up. We yeah. hike up to our next camp, Kosovo, where we will take a quick cat nap, <laughs> and then we start the summit hike at midnight. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So we're enjoying tonight. Tonight we're getting a regular sleep in our tent, in our sleeping bags, nice and warm, but not tomorrow. Anyways guys, this is Karanga camp. Quite beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Just beautiful <laughs> mist we're everywhere. The, the only morons outside right now. Yeah, everyone else is hiding in their tent. All right, maybe we should just go back and hide. Yeah, I want to go back to our tent. Okay. <laughs> Just finishing up with dinner back in the dome there. It was great. Delicious beef stew, something or rather over right. It was bad. actually really good. Not bad. But as you can tell, it is pitch black. It's only about 8.30, but we're gonna go, ahead, right? go ahead and hop in the tent, go to bed. We've got another early start tomorrow for our last hike. Ready or not, this is our last. Before the summit. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous, pray for me. She's not, she's excited as can be. So it's excited. crazy. No. <laughs> Guys, thank you for following along. This journey has been obviously incredible. It's much been cooler than I ever imagined. I will say that. This is something that we will never forget in every way. Never. <laughs> yeah. For two people who are not hikers and not campers, this has been an unforgettable it's journey. It's been and incredible. Every day has just been different and beautiful. It's been awesome. We love you guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. This is gonna be kind of a daunting night ahead of us because we will hike all the way through the night with just headlamps and the light of the people in front of you and gain a lot of altitude, 3,000 feet up to the summit. Good morning, everyone. Day five over here. I don't know if you guys know what day five means. <sighs> Deep breaths. Quite literally, deep breaths, because we're high. Not that kind of high. Day five means tonight we will be at the top, well, we'll be making our way to the top of the freaking African continent. And I'm freaking out. But let me tell you a little bit about our sleep last night. I felt like I was at a water park on a slip and slide all night long. We <laughs> We were tilting this way, we were sliding forward, smashing our treat bag. It was an adventure. I feel like I would wake up every little bit and I would just like jump to scoot up my sleeping bag away from this because my legs would just be like crumpled. <sighs> it was great. I <laughs> love camping so much. Camping is so fun. <laughs> 
camping for seven days straight. This is my dream. Living the dream. I want a new dream. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It's honestly been... No, it's really been good. The excitement that I have for an actual shower and bed though is just unmatched. But we still have three more days until that happens. Ugh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> two more days. It's two more. Counting today. Mm. No, not counting today. Don't count today. Then we got two more days. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's up you guys? Waking up to more mist this morning. I'm kind of over the mist. We really want to get some clear skies and to be able to see these landscapes. I know the peak is right back there. We kind of saw it earlier this morning. Blue skies are kind of breaking through. You can see the sun's trying to come up over here and break through these clouds, but it hasn't yet. But we're hoping as we gain altitude today, which we're gaining a lot. We're at camp at about 13,000 feet and we're going up to camp at 16,000 today, right before we summit up to the 19,000. So we're gaining a ton of altitude today. Hoping we get above these clouds and can start really taking in the beautiful views here and getting out of the mist. I don't want to get wet anymore. Although this jacket has been money in the bank. I'm so glad I brought this. Shelly's jacket is not quite as waterproof, so she's been throwing on this cheap poncho that has honestly been a lifesaver because it covers her bag, covers her clothes, covers everything, so she's been taken care of. But honestly, it looks like it's breaking up right now. We're gonna run into the dome here, grab some breakfast, and then I bet you when we come out, it's gonna look a lot different than this. Definitely still wet. As you guys can see, we are taking it very slow today, very slow pace. This hill is just steep and it's been steep the entire time since we have left camp. So we're going slow. We're definitely getting higher in altitude. You want to take it slow because of that also, but it feels sometimes like we're never going to make it anywhere because the steps are so slow I'm doing what it takes to get to the top. All right, we're taking our first break for the day. Go to the bathroom, get some snacks. Actually taking off some layers because we were getting kind of hot going up that hill for so long. So I shed a layer of clothes, got some beef jerky, Shell's eating her goldfish, getting some water. It's great. It's still definitely very misty. I'll probably put this camera away again once we get started just so it doesn't get completely soaked. But today, guys, we left Karanga Camp, hitting up this trail. It's gonna be a gradual uphill all the way, they said, to Kosovo Camp. They're telling us we have a really, really great itinerary because we go up to the highest camp possible. There's another camp between us and Kosovo called Barafu, but we're not staying at that camp. We're going a little bit further today to Kosovo, which means when we get started on our summit hike, we are that much closer to the top. So that's actually, I think, gonna be a huge thing for us. Another huge thing for us, I think, is we've just been fed so well on this trip. Climb Killy has hooked up the best food possible to get on the mountain. And so everyone is like doing great. We're energized, we're stoked. We're just ready for the mist to go away, you know, get some sun, get some views. I'm sure it's pretty out there. I mean, we're high guys. We're just passing 14,000 feet on our way up to 16,000 at Kosovo camp. So hopefully we get up and out of this. They're telling us that once we break 16,000 that it's most likely going to be clear skies. So that would be incredible. Have a fish? Cold fish. Did you wash your hands? No. <laughs> Where? In the midst of the oh, Drink. The sun is out. I think we're gonna ditch the ponchos now. It is hot and the sun is coming out. Thank goodness. The clouds are clearing up and you can actually see 
the ridge of the mountain up there. That's where we're gonna be going, but that's not necessarily the peak. The peak kind of gradually ascends from the ridge line there, but pretty awesome. It's definitely snow covered. I think there's some glaciers up there, but it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna continue up this way, up onto that ridge, and then go up, 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 over the next little while. With our pace, it'll take us a long while. Yeah, a long while. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. I'm a little warm. You look a little warm. You got a jacket on. Should I take it off? The sun is shining, but we are walking up a very steep, very rocky hill up to Barrafu Camp, where we will have lunch, and it will be delicious. Delicioso! <laughs> Literally feel like we've landed on the surface of the moon, though, because there's just nothing here but dirt and, and rock. I kind of know exactly what Neil Armstrong felt like now. This was not a small step. Many small steps for man. One giant leap for... Mankind. Yeah. I think the altitude's getting to us. We're about back to the same altitude we were at at Lava Tower the other day, which was the highest we'd ever been. 15,000 feet, so we're almost back to that altitude, which means after that, every step will be higher than we've ever been. Well, the mist is coming in. Here comes the mist. Put your jacket back on. <laughs> I just shed it. That's the theme of this mountain. Yeah. You shed a layer and then immediately put it back on. Like a 20 degree difference. Whether the sun's on you or whether this Absolutely. mist rolls Woo! in. At least 20. Very unpredictable, these mountains. I may sound out of shape, but I'm told it's the altitude. That makes you breathe hard. How do you guys, how do you guys feel about that? Feel about what? You're not putting that on the block. I was like, <laughs> a little embarrassing. Terminator oh is the guy to be with. Honestly, that is, oh, he's the go. <laughs> Picture. <laughs> we have I'm made fog it up the lens. to Barafu Camp. Barafu Camp. We're having lunch here, but we are not sleeping here. We still have like an hour and a half until we get to the camp we're camping at for the next few hours. Which is awesome, because it's that much closer to the yes. summit. Yes, <laughs> it takes us a bit closer. Don't know why I have these on. It's not sunny at all. It was like five minutes ago. Yes, the mist has rolled back in. We're going to have lunch. I don't think any of us are very hungry because we've been pounding the snacks. I ate a whole thing of Pringles today, I feel like. Yeah, and I ate like, yeah, I kind of ate a lot too down there. I don't really want lunch. But, but Jinx. her ment will tell us. We have to eat. Force yourself to eat. Yeah. Because it gives you energy. Yeah. And you need it up here. And you lose appetite apparently up here, which we have not. Yeah, I wouldn't say we've lost our appetite from the altitude that much, but thankfully. I would definitely say the food is getting a little old. I mean, yeah, we think about Cafe Rio, Chipotle frequently, even McDonald's. Yeah. Maybe a little Burger King, Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. They don't fly it in here this week, so. No. They got our dome set up way back there. We're heading there. Ding. Getting the royal Sounds treatment. Right Blue skies. Oh my god! Hoping to set a time lapse up here for lunch, but it's just all clouded in, so <laughs> let's eat. <laughs> at Kosovo camp. And it's just us guys. I guess a lot of the other tour groups actually call this camp Climb Killy Camp because they have special permission to camp here. Which is awesome because we're that much closer to the peak. Which is right behind those clouds right there. Anyways guys, we gotta have a kind of a crazy schedule today. We're actually gonna take a little bit of a rest time. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. We'll have dinner at five and then we will go to sleep as soon as possible and get as much sleep as we can because we are waking up at about 10, 11 p.m. to start the 
ascent to the peak of Kilimanjaro. Pretty insane guys. I cannot believe this night has actually come. It seems like it was so far off, but here it is. Anyway, this is gonna be kind of a daunting night ahead of us because we will hike pole pole really slowly all the way through the night with just headlamps and the light of the people in front of you and gain a lot of altitude, 3,000 feet up to the summit. So for now, we're gonna get some rest, get some dinner in a minute and hang out at our private camp, Kosovo. We are above the clouds and we're not in an airplane. This is We nuts. walked up here. We just had dinner, our last dinner before the summit. We had some grilled cheese sammies. Oh, that was the highlight. The sun has set. There's a wall of clouds back there. This is insane. There's another peak off that way. I don't know the name of that one. You can see the sunset colors over here. Oh, this way. The sun has set back that way. It is beautiful out here. And the raddest part is it's just our group up at this camp. It's so Yeah, cool. it's literally just us at this camp. And now we're gonna sleep for four hours Guys, before it's... wake up call to start hiking at midnight. And the forecast says it's supposed to be good weather. I we're really... really hoping that it holds because this is, I mean, it's freezing. We are freezing, but it's this cold. is pretty awesome right now. But there's no wind. So if this no weather wind, holds, no mist. if we can hike during the night yeah. in weather like this, then I think we're golden. It's going to mm -hmm. be epic. We're going to go try and get a few hours of sleep before we get our wake up call and then throw on everything warm that we possibly can. Pretty much. To start hiking the mountain. And then we're off. Wish us luck. Pray for us. We love y'all and we'll see you up there. See you guys. Well, the wake up call came. We got about, I don't know, I slept a little bit on and off for the last four, four hours. hours. And we have a ton of layers of clothes on. We have a thermal base layer, a fleece layer, and then an outer layer. Do you have um, any more than that? Yeah, I've got on bottom, I have two thermal base layers, fleece layer and an outer layer. And then on top, two thermals, a hoodie and an outer layer. And a t-shirt. <laughs> and a t-shirt. Guys, tonight is the night. We start the ascent ah! to Uhuru Peak on the top top of the continent of Africa on Mount Kilimanjaro. <gasps> it's almost midnight when we will be starting our trek. You can see our breath, it's freaking freezing. I neglected to say we have hand warmers galore all over oh, our Oh, we have bodies. them like, we had the adhesive ones stuck to our stomachs, our back. I have one stuck to my socks on my toes. I got them <laughs> in my pockets right here. It's so if you, if you get cold, I would be shocked. Right now the only thing that's cold is my toes. And that's she has it. toe warmers on her toes. I don't think they've activated yet though. Wow. Well, They've been on for like 20 minutes, yo. <laughs> we're just gonna go into the big dome back here, get our briefing, and then we're gonna start moving, which I'm excited for because it's always warmer when we're moving. Yeah, I'm excited to start moving because then we'll start to warm up a little. But it is calm as can be. There's almost no wind. It is clear as can be. The stars are just so pretty. bumping up there. We're really praying that this weather holds because it's beautiful. Make sure your headlight is not too tight. Good Hakuna Matata. Let's go, let's go. So he's not strapped up. <laughs> I'm not strapped. And we've started. It's gonna be about six hours of this exact same thing until we reach the peak. That's a full work day. Got about um, three or four miles, I think, all the way up to a hoodoo point. So everyone's bringing their AirPods, their earphones, listening to music. Something to get us pumped up. Cause I think this hike gets a little monotonous, especially when you can't see anything at all. Are you doing music already? Yeah, just in one ear. I might have to pull mine out. Starting to see snow up here. Rick, what's that about? Well, excellent weather today. Not too windy, not too cold. I'm feeling kind of hot actually. And we're about maybe five hours from there. So <laughs> I'd say we're doing pretty good. Taking our first water break here. Shell's actually getting hot. So it's just shedding some layers. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little hot on the top of freezing Kilimanjaro? I can't get it off. 
<laughs> yeah, I you the... <laughs> it's because of the t-shirt. Where did it all go? Okay. I think I'm gonna stick with what I have on. Honestly, because I'm just too lazy to take anything off. We've got four or five guides with us. We could not do it without them. Literally, we're like walking up this sleet. You can barely tell where the trail is right now. So I'm glad we got her mant up front. We've done this thing 170 times. This will be 171. Definitely could not do it without their expertise. What do you got there, babe? Cow tail. Probably the hardest cow tail you've ever eaten. <laughs> getting calories in. At this point, it's just candy and goldfish that's getting me through. That's about it. <laughs> they had us fill all our water bottles and camelbacks with warm water down at the camp before we came up so that it wouldn't freeze on the trail. And at first, I was like, it's gonna be gross. I don't wanna drink warm water. But my water's nice and cold now, so I'm really glad we did it. Otherwise, we may just have ice in these bottles. <laughs> I think this is our third break we've had so far. It's about 2 a.m. and we're doing great. It gets a little cold when you stop. You don't want to stop for more than like five minutes because then you start getting cold. I'm gonna keep moving because that keeps us warm. Yeah. Show is killing. Gotta keep moving. We got a little singing going on by our crew as we hike up this massive volcano. We're literally going right up the face of the volcano on very tight switchbacks. Lots of loose like lava rock and gravel, but the trail is great. All the switchbacks make it so it's not super steep, even though it is pretty steep. I think we've surpassed the height of Everest Base Camp. We're above 17,500 feet and we're getting up there. So far, no signs of altitude sickness from anybody. It was funny before we came on this, I was and to say goodbye to my grandpa Madsen. He's 98 years old. And I think altitude sickness is somewhat genetic, whether you have it or not, or can get it or not. And I asked him how high he's ever been. And he said he's been 45,000 feet in B-17 bombers during World War II. So I think I hit the genetic jackpot. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa Madsen. This camera's really, really heavy at over 17,000 feet. <laughs> this they call the Arctic Zone. I wonder why. Thank you! Uh, you right give there. me love, girl. Oh, I love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Almost there. Woo! 18,885 feet and we're not even at the top yet, yo. 19K got nothing on us. Woohoo! Let's do this! All right guys, we've just arrived at Stella Point, which is a really, really high part right on the rim of Kilimanjaro. It's not quite the peak. Uhuru Peak is where we're off to next, but Stella Point is definitely an accomplishment. A lot of people actually turn around right here. I don't get it, but we're gonna keep going up to Uhuru Peak and finish this thing off the right way. But still. Quite the words. accomplishment. Because <laughs> this is Africa. Oh, the sunrise. All right, taking a short break, catching some of the sunrise back here. Look at that, how epic. And then we're gonna head up to the actual rooftop of Africa. This is nuts, guys. It's getting brighter and brighter out here. No more headlamps. These massive glaciers are sitting down here right off the trail. Just huge. This is beautiful. Even Shell said this was worth seven days of not showering.
Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we made it. I need a drink. <laughs> Absolute top of the continent. <laughs> Kilimanjaro, top of Africa. We made it! Right, we haven't quite made it. A couple more steps. Oh great! And we've made it. But what a trek it has been. Say we did it! We did it! Our man, Herment, we could not have done this climb without him, truly. <laughs> he carried so many of our things. He carried four sets of hiking <laughs> poles for us. <laughs> he told me every single day he knew I could do it. And I did it. Herment knows best. Well, well, we are now at the top of African continent. I'm very proud with this team. They are all at the top of the mountain. They keep determination. They are here is my pleasure because this is 100% as usual. Climb! Chile! Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. Thanks too, brother. Congrats again. <laughs> All right, we're leaving the peak there. Oh, man. We probably spent, what, 45 minutes taking photos and yeah, videos? Long and time. Just enjoying ourselves for a bit. And I am ending it with a Snickers. Oh. Don't worry, I'll share with you. I stole it from someone else in our group. They gave it to Holy me. Holy smokes, guys. I honestly can't believe it's over. I mean, it's not over. I we have can't to get either. down, but. This is outrageous. That was a moment that I will never, ever, 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 ever forget. I will say, I was a little emotional climbing up because it's pitch black. I was staring at the stars and I saw stars in the shape of a heart and then I saw one really, really bright one. And I just knew that it was my dad. I just knew it. And I don't want to cry. <laughs> love you, babe. He got me through all the way to the top. So thank you, Daddy. I love you. We're going down to the camp. It's so clear, we can actually see it a couple thousand feet below us down there. But the downhill is steep, guys, so we're using these trekking poles, which a lot of people have been using climbing. I haven't, because I've always had the camera in my hands. It's hard going down this, it's so steep. So I'm putting the camera away, I'm actually using the trekking poles, because I don't want to eat it and fall and roll off a cliff or something. But it's almost like we're skiing down this, like, fine volcanic rock. Pretty awesome, but it's exhausting. Shelly got really overheated there, so she's shedding some layers currently. You can leave me. Just forget about me. Save yourself. I might just wear long johns. How do we feel about that? I am sweating. Yep, it's happening. We're all exhausted. None of us has slept or eaten. Whatever, babe, we just ate a Snickers. Yeah, Shelly had a Snickers bar. It was good. <laughs> oh boy. I can't believe that just happened. We're not to the bottom yet, but I'd like to think the hardest part's over. And it's quite literally all downhill from here. And my knees are already on fire. <laughs> 
All right, you guys, we have descended a little bit from Mount Kilimanjaro. We are back at our Kosovo camp, which is 16,000 feet still. So we still have a long ways to go, but we came back here, took a little nap, oh. had some lunch, and now it's time to start a long journey down. We're descending another 6,000 feet right now. And let me tell you, I don't know that I have the energy in me. <laughs> we are feeling it. Our knees, our legs, everything. We are so spent. Keep in mind, you guys, we woke up at 11 p.m. last night to start <laughs> summiting Kilimanjaro. Came all the way back down, had a little mini, like, hour nap of fading in and out of sleep, and now we're back going again. Yeah, and it's almost noon. Yeah, we have about 6,000 feet to go down right now, which they're saying could take maybe five-ish hours. Pray for Tonight us. Tonight is the last night of camping. We get off the mountain tomorrow afternoon. So, kind of crazy. Five and a half days up, one and a half days out. Pretty insane. Yeah, it's wild, but I'm honestly really glad that it's that way because I couldn't do another five and a half days of climbing down the same way we climbed up. We do go faster down. You don't have to acclimatize. You can just oh, go yeah. as fast as you want. You get and lots we went of energy back. Fast coming down from up there. Way fast. We did. We kind of booked it down. <laughs> I think down. it took us an hour to get down and five or so to get up. Our knees are feeling it right now. Yeah. Well, guys, we need to give a huge shout out to Climb Killy. I do not know that we would have made it with the amount of preparation we put into this. We did do a lot of hours on the stair mill. Probably helped a little bit. But, but that's it. Like truly, that's it. I mean, they suited us with gear. They've provided all the meals. They've got guys that come up and they set up all your tents. They've got a cook. Like it's honestly incredible. It's very incredible. And it's, I would say it was as luxurious and as comfortable as this kind of thing could possibly be. Yes. If which... you didn't have the comfort, if you didn't have decent meals that you can eat, Eat and like get energy from. Yeah. I don't think you'd make it up there. I really don't think you'd make it. Keep in mind, you guys, pretty much everything about this was hard and uncomfortable. But I would say they provided the most incredible experience when you're taking on hiking for seven days straight and camping for six nights straight. I don't know that it gets a lot better I know. than this. Well, you guys have seen the amount of gear up here. We have the tents, we have the big mess tent here, we have tables in there, there's chairs in there. They're bringing food. There's a team of about about 30 to 40 guys that got the nine of us to the summit and a huge shout out to them thank you so much for your work because we couldn't have done it without you you need that team to make this possible so yeah, thank you guys. it truly takes a team I also want to give a huge shout out to our group there was 11 of us we had so much fun our whole group did so good every single one of us summited and you guys no one really got sick as we've been talking to other people here on the mountain who are summiting and doing this, apparently that's like incredibly rare. Like we've been running into people who started with a group of eight and then we saw them at the summit and they were down to just two they people. They dropped like flies. Everyone else turned around and went back and only two people out of the eight actually summited. All 11 of us summited and- We got the photo to prove it. Yes, and we killed it, you guys, we killed it. We that's killed another, it on Killy. That's another testament to the hygiene, the cleanliness, the food, everything that Climb Killy provided. So And the way that they do it. They do different routes, they stay at different camps, and we just can't say enough how much we loved going with Climb Killy. So Climb Killy, thank you so much for hosting us. Thank you so much for having us out here. We absolutely loved doing this with you. Guys, we are descending the mountain, but we are not leaving Tanzania just yet. So definitely stay tuned. We have another adventure, which will start the next day after we get off the mountain. No rest for us. No. Thank you for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this epic climb onto the top of Africa, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you for all your prayers. We love you.